birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to City Skylines Green Cities. So there are a few things that I want to do right away. First thing is pay this off. It looks like we are we came really, really close to doing that. So now all of the money shall be ours. It's all ours. And I also want to change this back to 100% because it looks like more and more we need fire happening here just because we need uh, better fire prevention. That way things won't burn down. And I realized that I did not actually place any fire. Uh-oh, we need water as well. Okay, we need to solve our water issue and our, um, our power issue. But right. We didn't place any fire stations over here, so I have to... Uh-oh. 12,000. Well, I mean, if we collect money a little bit faster, we should be good. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of potential issues over here. I want to place one as soon as possible, because... Usually, industrial kind of burns very, very quickly, and so we want to make sure that we prevent that as quickly as possible, and that's why this is of utmost importance. Even though I should be focusing on maybe power generation and also building more roads, we need to do this just so that these guys stay safe and don't burn down. And it seems like it's also going to help some of these guys, so ta-da! Ooh. Alright, water situation. So, let's take a look at our sewage, because we do have a green version of this. However, I wonder if it's going to cost more. So, 320 per week for that one. And then we have, let's see, this one is 480 per week. And we're not currently making very much money, so I think we're going to have to try to use uh, this one just because it's what we can afford and then we'll switch the other one as soon as we have enough money and are making enough money because right now well money's tight and we really cannot afford to uh <laughs> be adding the green one i know we're trying to focus on adding a green city or making a green city i should say but for now that's not going to happen if we go ahead and use the other guy so we're going to use that let's see we need another 2500 dollars so we can actually place this guy and we should be good with yeah calm down okay well, calm down we're working on it. Just just be patient. Oh, gosh, they're really not being patient. That's not good, because if we lose people, well... We're already losing people. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I mean, I guess this is my bad. I didn't realize... I, I could take out the loan, huh? Yeah, you know what? Let me do it. Let me do it right away, just so that that way we'll, we'll be saved. And it looks like we need to build some roads anyway, so we should be able to get our money back pretty soon. Right, so... Let's connect this right up there and connect that together. Good. And I'm going to just save money. Oh, wait, do we need electricity like right now? Uh, I'm going to say yeah, that's a big yes. So let's see. Maybe we could drop this guy somewhere around here. 17 new. On this side. 18. That works for me. All right, there we go. And so that should be something to help these guys actually get what they need. Ta-da! Yeah, be happy. Oh, apparently you're having crook problems? Well, I mean, I thought there was some police coverage over here. Apparently not this far. Hmm. That's an issue. We don't really have police coverage over here, nor do we have fire coverage over here, but we don't have enough money for this, so now it's just a matter of building out a little bit more. Uh, what, uh, what the heck is happening over here? Oh, right, that was like the middle ridge area. It seems like some houses built along this road here, so it doesn't look straight through. That was a little bit bizarre for me, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to continue building roads right down straight through here, just because I like the idea of having uh, coastal homes coastal properties that way we can generate some kind of money from these guys and let's see i want to bring it all the way down to maybe not this far let's go for something like this two thousand bucks sure works for me and we can do another one over here two thousand bucks sure we can connect these guys there ta -da. and we can even afford to do this guy right up in here another two thousand bucks for that that is fine and these are starting to stretch out in a very weird way but that's okay so this i think i'm just going to keep it like this as a uh, kind of almost like a block only reason is that that I'm doing this is because I think it works fairly well as it is and nothing really grew in there as uh, commercial so I think I'm just gonna switch this out to all residential but yeah, I think it's fair to have this all blocked up just because of the fact that this is a nice coastal property area and if we don't block it up so much we won't get as much coastal property and that well I'm pretty sure people love the views that's definitely something that's probably beneficial to them so let's make sure that they have water first before we continue on because if they don't, we're in for a few more issues than what we already have. Alright, so there we go. Those guys are going to get water. These guys are going to get water. These guys are not going to get water. Oh, those guys will, but not everybody else. So, well, too bad, so sad for them. I guess we're going to have to get 600 bucks before we do this. Ta-da! You guys can get water in just a second. Oh, right there? Alright, fine. That's real, really, really weird connection, but whatever. And we need some more industrial, which... 
Ew, not there. <laughs> Definitely not there. See how much dirt that's creating? That is not okay. I wish I could change that, but it would cost us way too much money to do that. So instead, we are going to bring our industrial right from here. So let's go ahead and grab our roads and stretch them out. Oh boy, I love nighttime because I can always see very clearly where the heck I'm going with this. Um, I would love to stretch it out really, really far, but apparently that's not going to happen. So let's just go with this to, I suppose, right over about here. Sure, I can even bring it closer in there for a nice angle right there. Sure, let's do that just because we can get a few things going in right now that probably won't cost us too much money. Especially if there's water here, that would be very nice. All right, so there we go, is there water here? <laughs> not exactly. Um, I could just make a nice little offshoot there, but that's not exactly gonna work. How about from here? We could take it from here, huh? Let's see, water from, ooh, not enough money, great. We should get enough money for this in just a second so we can actually get these guys building. Oh, they're already building up. I guess it's the guy that was on the water who's building up though. All right, so there we go. That should help out with some of our needs. And I suppose we do have a little bit of a commercial need, so I will fill in, what the heck happened over here? I don't know how that wasn't filled in, ugh. All right, we'll fill this in though with commercials just because we need it. And I know I said I wasn't gonna use this road, but I guess I have to just for this. Just because these guys are like, oh, well, I might as well just build up here. Fine, if you're going to do that, just uh, do it properly. And we do have this massive road for a lot of different uh, type of traffic to move through, so I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and expand this out to these guys here. They're going to have to rebuild. I apologize for them uh, having to rebuild, but that's just the way it is sometimes. And do we have all ki types of green... Um Commercial? Looks like we do. Okay, so that should be good. Alright, so when are we... Alright, 7,500. 7,500 so we can get blimps and metro IT cluster. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. And of course, our high density residential. That's gonna be even more exciting. So well, this looks like some, some kind of weird monster with the uh, the brows just like extending out that way. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. But hey, look at that. We have money, you guys. So let's take a look at how, how our power is going. It looks pretty good right now. So I mean, we're generating a fair amount of power there. We're good with water. Are we good with garbage. It looks like we're generally good with garbage. I kind of want to get rid of our landfill just because I don't want it right now or ever, but we're going to have to keep it as is for the time being. And let's see, six citizens, 50. However, we don't have enough money for this, so that's going to have to stay that way. And can we pay this off? Not yet. We need 16,000 bucks to do that. However, we do have some more industrial demand, so it's just a matter of, oh gosh, why is it? It seriously always rains. No matter what city I have, it's straight up always raining. Oh, look at that. The daytime's coming. Thank goodness, because I was like, I'll say, well, we might as well wait for the daytime so we can see where we're going with this. But no, nah, I think we're good. All right, so um, let's see. Natural resources. So we can take it all the way straight through here, honestly. So that, that wouldn't be that bad. All right, roads. Let's go ahead and grab a road. I thought we could pay off the loan right now and start earning a little bit more money, but we are already earning a fair amount of cash. So let's see, we could do this, but that'll be touching upon the houses and I really don't want to do that. So let's see if we could do stretch out like this and bring it up through here. We could probably connect it with this guy eventually. And let's see, I want to bring it out through, maybe not that far, just because it's starting to curve a little bit weirdly. I do you want to curve it right through there? Good, that might work. And this should be fairly quiet. Oh, somebody got mad at me. Oh no. This is too short, excuse me. <laughs> that should not be too short. That works. There we go. I kind of like this, even though it's like, uh, I don't know, it's not actually connected properly. There we go. We have connections happening all throughout. This could be another main road. That means this is going to be good for our industrial. And I mean, I love that there are farms here because farms are definitely going to help us with the, uh, organic commercial and whatnot especially since you know we if we grow right from home we know where it's coming from we know how it's being grown all right so let's see we're gonna need some more of this stuff being stretched out over here but i guess i should probably build a few more roads just so we can get that going so let's see where does it stretch up to all right so down here we should have to focus on the lower part fair enough so i can take this road here i can curve it oh <laughs> not like that i was gonna curve it let's see curve it uh-huh grab it here Sure, we can start right there and curve it this way. Good. It's not even touching upon the houses, and that means that we can't really build any more homes over here, which is fine with me, because this is more than enough. That is definitely more than enough. And it looks like there's a little separation of land right there between these guys, so I mean, that should be fine. In my opinion, it should be fine. Just gonna make sure, though, that our zones are not crossing each other. Otherwise, we're gonna have some major issues, and we might have to just join them together. All right, we might be might be good. I'm going to say might just because I'm not so sure. Let's try... Oop. Um, let's see. Do we have everything here that ha that this guy has? I think we do. 
we don't have anything about housing? Oh, that's a problem. All right, let me go ahead and just throw this down in here just because it seems like we don't have that. Good. Just in case, you know, I messed up the zoning and these guys don't exactly have the proper zoning anymore. Got to make sure of that, especially since it looks like I did kick them out. My bad. Let me just scoot that in. There we go. Okay, good. Whew. Now it's just a matter of making sure that I fine-tune this guy so that that way we grab in all the land behind the houses, but not exactly the houses, you know? All right, so there we go. Something like that. That should work. So I really hope this is enough. Uh, we don't have water there, though, right? No, we don't have water. All right, so that's easily solved. We can just bring this right through here and then take uh, right here. Sure. Right through there, and then bring this one right down. Ta-da! Problem solved. Everybody, please grow up. We need you to be coming in here and actually making us plenty more money. Although, 3,000 bucks. That's not bad. Although, I wonder if these guys are going to be mad at us because they have farms right next door. Let's increase the value of the land. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're trying to increase the value of the land with some farms. <laughs> That's a joke, you guys. I know it doesn't work that way. Um, let's see. We're gonna need some parks back here. Oh, something's burning. Okay, do we have enough fire over here at all? No. The answer is no. So, I'm gonna need to put a fire station along this main road here because I really like this road being, like, the main one. I may actually replace, like, that spot with the house there <laughs> just because of the fact that it's burnt. Wait, we had a fire truck come over here at some point. Huh. Well, we almost spent enough money for this, so it's not that big an issue. Although, our hazard... Wow, that's... It's huge. All right, let's go with this guy right over here. We are going to destroy, apparently, a lot of houses. I'd rather destroy this many right there. All right, that works for me, and let's see. That's still green. Good. All right, coverage is good, you guys. Although, they don't actually extend all the way over here, but it looks like some buildings are actually growing up. Oh, they're becoming big boys. That's good. All right, so we can definitely go for some small playgrounds around here just because we need... We need people, like, having nice, fun areas in which to play. So let's do that there. I'm not a fan of this road, but I'm going to leave it anyway, just because it's one of the original roads that we added here. So, you know, whatever. We have to leave it there just because. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of trash back up because these guys are a little far. So that does make sense. However... It's not particularly good. Oh, there we go. Trash truck actually went by. Good. We need more parks, though, back here. So I think we want to do maybe a dog park. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? Tropical garden. Can we fit this, like, in a block? We can, but we'll get rid of a bunch of houses. Um, also, the, the, the area is pretty small, so it's not probably it's not worth it, but I kind of want to throw one down just to see what it looks like. Sure, we'll put one right here among all the farms. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, so what does this look like? Oh, you know what? That actually looks pretty cool, and it looks like it actually fits among the farms, so I'm okay with that. These guys are suddenly like, hey, look at that. I live in a nicer area now, so yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw it on a dog park, though, like I said, because this one has a massive area of effect, and I really like that. However, it looks like we're gonna have to get rid of quite a few homes. Oh, if we do it here, we won't. Sure, especially since this grabs some, such a big area. We could do it back here just to grab even part of the industrial area here. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, have, we have to grab the houses in the corner there because those guys are going to be missing out. All right, let's do it right up in here. And that should work out. I probably should have done it right here because, of course, those houses didn't build to the best of their abilities, but eh, whatever. And yeah, people are moving out because I just destroyed their homes, but eh, whatever. <laughs> eh, whatever. That's basically a model right now. All right, so let's see. We have 12000 bucks coming in soon, so we can actually build another police station somewhere over here. Again, since this is an extra road, I kind of want to use it just for this. However, it looks like doing that... Man, there is no good place for this. There's just no good place for this police station ever. And it makes me want to build one of these, the police headquarters instead, but that really doesn't fit here at all because this area is pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this right there and destroy those homes and ta-da, suddenly we have some police nearby, even though it doesn't look like it's covering. It's going to cover it. I'm pretty sure that the issue is mostly with the fact that I did not raise the budget back up, huh? Let's see, budget back to 100%, so now they should be covering all areas that they seem to not be covering before. Police? Yeah, we're good. We're good. That was the problem there. And let's see, is trash okay? Because trash, we need it to be like a big area. We need to put a lot of money towards that just to make sure that it's always, you know, coming through here, even though it's far away, like super far away. And for some reason, we don't have workers. Huh. You guys should not be... Yeah, you're not actually that educated. So maybe we need more people. Oh, we definitely need more people. I was like, hmm... I wonder why there aren't enough workers here. Maybe, you know, it's a citizen problem. Yeah. <laughs> no shiitake mushrooms. It's a citizen problem. All right. So let's go ahead and extend this all the way out to not there. Not like that. Oh, okay. How far can we go with this? It seems like we can't go very far with that. We'll get some small houses right here on this side, but that should be fine. 
And this definitely starts extending out in a very bizarre way, but that's okay, because, well, that means we have big spaces here for some parks. And that's always exciting. And let's do that just like that. Ew. Ew! What the heck happened to that? <laughs> what happened to that road? That was not okay. Not in a million... What is happening to this thing? This poor road, it's like broken in half. No matter how many times I delete it, it's always going to be really messed up, huh? Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. Whew. And as for these middle streets, yeah, I'm going to delete them. I, I know I just said that uh, they were there originally. They are fine the way they are. And I, I kind of still agree with that. But a part of me is just like, uh, I can make better streets. So what do I want to do here with these streets? Well, I kind of like this. That we have it at an, uh, a certain angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I, I know it's going to destroy a bunch of stuff, but that's fine. Let's see, 46 degree angle, sure, let's keep that up there, and I want to do one more, I guess maybe closer over here, just so we can, uh, not enough money, great, that's all that we needed, I spent, <laughs> didn't realize I spent that much money, my bad, alright, 46 degree angle going once, 46 degree angle going not enough money, going, oh, jeez, Really? 45? 45? 45? Where'd that come from? Well, I guess. And now we have a little bit more room for some houses. So let's go ahead and drop this up. <laughs> you know why we have more room, you guys? Because we just destroyed people's houses. That's exactly why. But this is okay. All right. So let's go ahead and clear that out. Uh-huh. And do something just like that. Good. So beachfront properties first, because of course we want people to rent those out. Or I guess build up on those and be paying us enough money just to be there. So there we go. All right, works for me. Of course, we have this big area because I did want to place a park over here, but we currently do not have enough money for a park. How much is the park? A lot of money, apparently. Hmm. Well, we should probably make sure that these guys have water because if they don't, then we are going to have other issues than just no parks. Let's go ahead and do something like that. Connect it right over here once we get the money, which is not going to be that long. There we go. Good. All right. So now it's just a matter of collecting enough money for our parks, and I think we probably have enough people here for buses. <laughs> I think we do, you guys. I think we do. All right, so small park, maybe slope is too steep. Excuse me? All right, I'm going to do one right. Slope is too steep. Ooh, that is rough. That is actually very rough. All right, so I'm just going to do it right there, and that should be good enough to cover all of these guys. And it looks like we don't have enough power anymore. Yeah, that happens. So we're going to need to collect some money just for the power. How are we doing on our loan here? Because we should be able to get rid of it soon. Yeah, very, very soon. And this one... Well, it's still eating away at our uh, money, but we, we just haven't been patient enough with it to collect what we need here. So I'm going to just pay this one off, take it out again, just so we can do all our power stuff and make sure that we have enough going. I think we have enough in taxes, right? Yeah, we. I think we do. That's more than enough. And let's see. Loans. Pay that off. Take it out. There we go. That's how I'm going to keep working with this just so we can get enough power here because we need it. We are desperate for this power, so let's see, 18, 19, 18, 19, anybody over here? Um, right by your house you have an 18, I might destroy your house just for that, but I don't think it's going to be worth it because we might find some other ones somewhere over here, let's see, what was that noise? There was some weird noise happening just around me, I, sw I really hope I'm not haunted right now because that would be <sighs> really unfortunate. Alright, let's put it right there, and uh, do we need more? I mean, it looks like we have enough power right now, so... That was just a temporary problem that I tried to solve for absolutely no reason. Ugh. Whatever. Alright, so we are all connected. It looked over here, though, that we did not actually have enough parks. That is an issue. How are you guys not that happy? Come on. Come on. Well, since there are a lot of kids living here, I suppose we can probably try to replace some of these houses with something nice, right? Maybe not there. Maybe over here. Ooh, there's nothing over here. Did I not zone this out for anything? That's for commercial. Oh, well. <laughs> We're using them now for some park stuff. Hey, look at that. Suddenly, a lot of people are happy around here. But these guys are not happy. It looks like they need a little bouncy castle, maybe? I don't really like the bouncy castle that much. Let's go for a small playground right over here. Within our commercial zones? Yes, I suppose we can do that. And over here, even though we have parks and whatnot, they are not happy. It looks like they need something more. So maybe... What's over here? Is this where we have our high school? It is where we have our high school. Well, what we can do is actually start to replace parts of our, uh, whatever the heck that is, with maybe a dog park, because, you know, high schoolers will love dog parks. Ooh, or we could go for a parking garage, but the problem with the parking garage is people like to visit it a little too much, and it's always very unsettling that they do. All right, there we go. So that should make a lot of people happy. That looks like it's making many people happy. These guys overall are not that happy. What's, what's going on with you guys, huh? Like, I, I swear, there's a park right there, but you guys are just like, ah. Yeah, it's not good enough. All right, so you know what's good enough then? Maybe another dog park. That might help. So let's see if we can find a nice spot for a dog park. We can destroy a few homes there. 
That wouldn't be that bad. Sure, let's do it there, and maybe that's going to help them a little bit more. Apparently, they want more dog parks, which I, I don't understand, but hey, people love their dogs, okay? People love dogs. And let's see, we can't fill that in, so that's okay. We have a lot of people building up. That's good. And that massive park is just taking up a lot of room. I realized, though, that there was some extra room around. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see, what is this road? Two-lane gravel road. Is there, like, um... Some kind of sidewalk or anything like that? I would like to use a sidewalk road, but I don't know if we have anything like that. Let's see, what is this? Monorail tracks. Nah, not really what I'm looking for. Huh. Are they tucked away somewhere else? Because I could have sworn... Ooh, I haven't been using these guys. I don't know how I forgot those, but those are really for city areas, so I guess that makes some sense that I have yet to use them. Uh, we could use this, though, but that's... I don't know. I don't know. I think we're good for now. Uh, maybe not these guys. These guys are not that happy. And overall, well, we just need a lot of help. This area, we need to get rid of it overall. We just, uh, we don't need it. We don't need it at all. And it's basically just dirtying up our city, and I don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting rid of it. Oh, actually, I just got rid of the, uh, the road for this guy, didn't I? My bad. I don't know how, it, how that happened, but, I mean, we're not using it anyway, so whatever. That should be okay. Where's our recycling plant? Because I want to make sure that we actually have a road to it still. That does have a road to it, right? Yep, right there. All right, good. So I have to leave this road, basically. But everything else, it's going away. We, c we don't even need this. Everybody go. Get out of here. Find work somewhere else. Because these guys are just polluting the earth. And they're not cool. They're not cool at all. We cannot... I will not stand for this at all. So there we go. Everybody's leaving. And we should be saving a little bit more money. Because, of course, we're not going to be spending all that money on streets. Um, they're preserving our streets, right? So, ta-da! Uh-oh, something over here. Is this something that we need to keep? No. This, however, is. So this guy's gonna move right up in here. Let's see, right there. And we can just leave those zoned in for now. It's not a big issue. And let's see, Goods Unlimited, Ice Cube Factory. Yeah, you guys, I don't think you have roads, so please just go away. This guy, we need to dump it out. But the only problem is that it doesn't look like it can empty buildings to another facility. I can't actually do that. Buildings closed, not working. No road access. Okay. So maybe the reason why I can't dump it out is because we don't have access. Oh, fine, fine. I'll add the road back just for this guy. Just this once. All right, there we go. Road is back in there. Can we dump it out or is this going to be an issue? Yeah, apparently I can't dump it out in here. Huh. Well, I guess we're keeping it. Let's just close it, though, because I really don't want to use it. I really, really don't want to use it. And all of this should start cleaning up very slowly. I know I still have these guys here, but... Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I can't really get rid of them all at once. And these guys should start building up a lot quicker now because, of course, we do need that much industrial. What I want to do first, though, before they start growing, growing up into these areas, I want to... Not growing up, growing up. I want to fill these in, like, with small roads just so that we can get a little bit more coming in here. Let's just do that up just like that. Good. That one's fine enough. You know, it has a little bit of space there to grow if we needed to. And we can obviously extend some more roads through here if we really wanted to. But for now, I think this is fine. Um, hmm. Gonna need some more residential. We do have this area over here if we really, really wanted to, just because it's, uh, the whole episode has basically been spent trying to reach this big town area here, and it seems like we're not gonna go quite yet. So maybe what we're gonna do, first thing first, pay that off, and, ooh, can't pay that one off just yet. I was like, yes, finally, we can pay off both of our loans. Well, we can soon, and that'll help us out with uh, saving money overall, because we will save over 600 bucks per week. Hey, so that's going to be good. There we go. All right, so now we're broke, but we should be making a little more money, and now we can actually build out our extra streets. That way we can maybe get a few more citizens, because it seems like our homes are actually filling up quite quickly. I wonder what we can do to make life for them a little bit better, because, of course, we want to make sure that they have everything that they need. So let's see, not enough money for this. How much does it cost? 10,000 bucks. That's not much, and if I try to save this space here, I could probably use it right there. So, hmm, maybe if we give them what they need, like the service that they need, we might be able to get more people coming in here, because right now, we are 500 short. And yeah, we have a lot of sick citizens, so we definitely need this guy, like, right now, like yesterday. Oh, loans, maybe I should, no, 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 I shouldn't even go there. I should not even look at that ever again. Okay, hopefully, there's going to be enough, and we need to actually raise the budget on that, because it seems like that area of effect is just very, very tiny. So let's go ahead and raise that to 100, 
and uh, 100. There we go. Good, good. And that should be good. All right. So this guy should be taking care. Hey, five patients. Good. And it looks like a lot of ambulances are out. That means they're going to go ahead and collect people. These are growing up. Good. I, I know I keep calling it growing up. I should say leveling up. Educate more citizens. Um, We're trying. <laughs> we're trying. Although it looks like maybe we don't have enough schooling here. Oh, actually, our capacity is good for that one. Ah, uh, we need another high school. But that means that we need another $30,000, which is not easy to get so we're gonna have to be very patient and just work on our industrial for now and hopefully hopefully people won't be asking to get schooled all the time that way we'll be able to fill in all these jobs so let's see we can go all the way Ooh, isn't there? I thought there was a hill here oh, I guess all the way back here hey we actually went out pretty far all right so that works for me I can actually just bring this all the way out through to let's see right here let me just do this again do this right through here sure let's say right here and bring it out this way. That way we can maybe connect these two guys so they won't have to go through that middle road, huh? So we'll connect them eventually. Obviously not there because that's looking a little bit wonky, but I want to connect it eventually over here. There we go. So let's drop it there. And you want to just make a connection right through here. Let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit and curve it. Good. All right. So now we can fix this road, though, because that's a little bit too weird. Better. Okay. So now we have some more zoning over here for our industrial. I want to make sure that we have water here. We do not. So we're going to have to stretch that out there. That's okay. Not a problem, you guys. Not a problem. Just gotta get plenty of farms in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited for the farms because, I mean, we're gonna make some money. I'm pretty sure it's not making that much money, but we're gonna make some money. And also, we are going to have a lot of people working on farms, no longer mucking up our city. That's gonna be really exciting, especially now that we're for sure, for sure moving away from other kinds of industrial. Although eventually, yes, I will grab more and more office buildings as soon as we get there because of course we're not quite there just yet so let's go ahead and bring this out through right there connect that guy right there good and we need one small connection right through here so let's go ahead and connect that in there we don't have anything in there just yet that we will need that so let's just leave it as is and that should be good now it's just a matter of taking care of our residential demand which is growing so that means we're going to go to our big roads and i think i want to use you know these roads here it lowers noise pollution supports high traffic that would be good I, I like how there's a dead person over here. That's, uh, like I said, I want to build slowly in terms of residential. What happened over here? I feel like I always miss a spot. Oh, jeez. Or maybe they just decided not to build there and then that unzoned? I don't think it works that way, does it? Hmm. Well, we're going to need a cemetery somewhere over here because clearly, clearly, there's some people dying over here and we don't exactly have cemeteries. So let's see. We want to stretch these out to somewhere far enough. I think here is far enough. I don't really want to build these guys any uh, beachside properties because that just seems a little bit bizarre, especially on this side since we have most of our, I guess, wind farms over here. So let's see, we want to do something this far here, so let's connect it there. I know we're just getting people to move out now, but that should be fine. That should be okay. They'll find a place to live. And not enough money. <laughs> oh boy, all right, come on. Money, 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 money. I need my money, please. Money, 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 money. I need the money. All right, so here, then we can, ooh, not there. Definitely not there. Refund, please. Oh, I got a little bit of a refund. That wasn't that bad. And let's see, these roads cost 120 per week. These cost, oh yeah, these are more, these are more expensive, the ones I want to use. Well, I mean, I guess it's all for the good of the earth. Right, you guys? That's what I have to keep saying to myself whenever something's really expensive. It's all for the good of the planet. We have to do this. And let's see, we can't, I guess I'm going to turn that short. Let's do all that, and this is going to be commercial. There we go. Water. We need water happening through here, so let's go ahead and just bring this out again. Bring this down. Good. And that's mostly covering everybody. If they're not covered, well, too bad, so sad. Just deal with it. And, well, we do need a cemetery over here, so let's see. How much do cemeteries actually cost? 8000 That's doable. We're definitely getting enough money for that. And, I mean, how's death care looking? Only 122 buried, although we do have 32 deceased and no crematorium. People want to get burned? Really? Come on, you guys just get buried, okay? We need a lot of cemeteries getting buried eventually, so come on. And it looks like it fits in here quite nicely, so we are going to have to destroy some of these houses just so we can fit in. Well, this guy here. So there we go. Ta-da! I am so sorry, Holmes. I know you just built up there, and you're just like, hey, I found a house! And now it's just like, goodbye house. There's going to be some uh, death place here. All right, so what I can do here is I can actually probably extend out one more road somewhere up the way over here, Cheddar, and we can't actually do all the way through, so I'm going to have to do it like here, and then not enough money. Whew. 
right over here, so hopefully nobody builds there. Good. All right, so we have that going. I don't actually want that to be anything like that. I want this to be commercial as well. And let's delete this little butt right there that actually doesn't need to be there. All right, good. That needs to get filled up. That needs to be commercial, actually. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm just like, hmm. Something about that is quite bizarre. Yeah, this doesn't actually fit that way. And you guys, I am so sorry, but I am moving you all out. You guys do not belong here at all. I am sorry, but that's just the way it is. This is way too close to our power, and that's just not going to work out. Is uh Oh, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that anymore because we just built something over here. So fair enough. All right, so another 300 sims until we finally get to Big Town. Will that happen right now? I really hope it'll happen right now. Uh-oh, it looks like some people are actually sick. How is our noise pollution doing? Can I actually see noise pollution from here? Oh, right here. Um... <laughs> So yeah, we have a lot of noise pollution, so that would make some sense as to why there's so much sickness. Maybe if we put some more trees back here, we can get rid of that. And let's see, where's my tr tree brush? Trees? Okay, there we go. Whew. All right, so let's see what we can do about some trees. Oh, geez, not like that. That's a little bit too strong. <laughs> That's a little too, too strong. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a bunch of trees there just like that. That's really not at all what I want. I have to actually probably delete a few of these here. That was... Jeez, they're stacked on top of each other so high. Okay, I'm going to delete all of these then, because that's ridiculous. That is, like, absolutely insane. Oh, my gosh. Sure. Okay, that's that's fine with me. So let's try this. Hey, that's actually better. All right, good. So we're going to do just some trees back here. And I guess we can probably try a different kind of tree, huh? Is this... That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Uh, this one? Um, no. What, what kind of tree is that? I, I wonder... That one also does not look great. Maybe this one. Sure. Let's go for a few of these here. Just separating the... Oh, gee. <laughs> that still doesn't look great, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. So it's, uh, it's just a line of trees right back here separating the houses from the farms. That way the farms won't be so loud. Let's see. Noise pollution. It's still pretty bad over here. I might have to turn this road into just commercial. But hey, look at that. We are now a big town. So that's actually pretty exciting. So now we have unlocked a brand new area, which we can't afford because now we have a ton of money. We have level 5 unique buildings, a metro, blimp, IT cluster offices, and you know what's most important of all? We get high density zoning. Oh yeah. We also get, wow, a university. Okay, okay, we have a lot of things to do now. So we work with our university, we probably work with Asana just to keep people happy. Well, happy and healthy, especially the people here next to the farms they need to be. Modern Technology Institute. Uh, this school teaches teenagers in the ways of technology and alternative to the universe. Oh my gosh. You don't say. You don't say. Okay, that's really interesting. And of course, we have our faculty buildings here if uh, we need that. Deep space radar. Worried about me meteors? Um, I think we're maybe all set for meteors. I don't want to drink it right now, just in case. Anyway, what are we going to get next after we unlock something else? Because I am so excited for monorails, you guys. Monorail is what I want to get in here first before anything else. Ooh, a yoga garden. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to get a monorail before most other modes of transit, but it seems like we're going to have to try for buses pretty soon just because we're going to have a lot of people living here already, and I think it's fair enough that we start to house them. So... We have high density now, and you know what that means. That means I'm gonna, about to wreck all these people's lives by actually switching them out for high density residential. And, I mean, that sucks for them, but it's good for me because that way we can house a lot more people in one tiny area and make a lot more money. So I'm going to just start <laughs> destroying their lives one by one right from there. And let's see, I want to unzone all these guys so we'll no longer have all this dirty mess over here. Got to get rid of all these guys. There we go. So that should be good. And I guess I can probably display some more people there. Sure. I do want to maybe switch that out eventually. Let's see. Over here, though, we want to go for some of these places. And that should be enough displacement for now because, of course, I don't want to displace everybody all at once. That will cost us, you know, a lot. That would cost us a li little bit too much than what we need. Right. So since we have so much money, you guys, we can do a lot of buying. So what I want to do is I want to... Ooh. We can see the water now. <laughs> uh, I want to buy this one. Yes, I really want to buy this one just because we have a lot more farming that we can do on this side here. And I definitely want to go, like, maybe around here with farms. That might be, that might be cool, right? So I definitely want to go there. Of course, I want to go out this way as well with the farms. And now we can have housing along the river. But remember, remember what I said before, if I even said this before. I want to have a massive, and I mean massive, park along the river somewhere in the middle of the city. So we're going to have to save a lot of space for that just so we can get that going. Okay, so let's jump right back in here and see what we need. We, of course, have enough money now for 
Oh, yes, you guys. Oh, we can do this. A geothermal power plant. 80... Is it megawatts here? I don't know. 80 potential megawatts that we can get here. Must be placed roadside. I mean, I can place it over here. i still not so sure what I'm going to use this area for. Hmm. Oh, we can always move it, right? We can always move it if we really need to. So there we go. That's connected in there, and now we're broke again. <laughs> That's okay, because we're not going to build up our university area just yet. I want to make a special university area. That's... It's just going to hold itself and just a bunch of high-density buildings just so that we can get a lot of people living in one area. Anyway, we do have quite an industrial demand, which tells me offices. Let's see where the noise pollution is, though. I want to make sure that we don't build homes there again, because clearly that's a problem. I mean, these guys might be fine if I, do, if I build them here, but... Uh, do I really want to do that? Yes, let's just let's just do that. All right, there we go. Ta-da! Everybody, welcome here and welcome home. Welcome to your new big buildings, basically. And let's displace all everybody here and do the same thing over here. Let's pause this before everybody starts building. Good, that's all filled up. Nice. So let's see what these buildings look like because these are bound to look super cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these. I love this one especially. Like this type of building, I would love to live in something that looks like that. I feel so happy just coming home to something like that. These guys don't really look that cool, but I mean, I... Ooh, ooh, look at the solar panels on these ones. Uh-huh. Okay, this. This is nice. And what are these guys looking like? Oh, there's a death over here. That's a little bit unfortunate. Is that low density? Low density commercial building. I thought I said build high density there. You guys are... They're really not listening, huh? Well, I guess I'm going to have to force them to listen. Let's go ahead and just unzone all of that. So they'll actually destroy themselves and go away. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Finally, you're listening. Oh my gosh, these guys, seriously. Is, is this something? No, it's not anything. Okay, good. Whew. So now we can get these guys in here as much as we... Excuse me, there's still somebody there. I don't know what they're doing there, but whatever. I'm gonna probably just destroy them if they don't leave. And let's see, we need something like this. Of course, we do still need low-density commercial within this area as well. So I'm gonna try to keep some of it, but obviously not this here. You, sir, please go away. I don't need you. You, are you parking? Oops, let's get out of here. Are you parking? Fair trade coffee. No, your coffee place. Go away. <laughs> go away, you as well. We don't need you there. All right, our industrial man is getting higher and higher, even though we just kicked out a lot of people from our city. That makes little sense, but sure. All right, let's, uh, can you get out? There we go. Whew. Oh boy, a lot of stuff happening, you guys. A lot of stuff, a lot of change coming here. Let's see, what do we need here so that these guys educate more citizens? All right, that's fair enough. We do, you know, need more schools eventually. How are we doing in terms of school? Oh my gosh, look at all the cars. Yeah, we're going to need buses in just a second, but let's see. Education, we need another elementary school. Well, since we don't have any over here, I think it's probably fair enough that we add one to this area. So let's see, education community school. That's what we want over here. Let's try to put it maybe along the main road. Ooh, it doesn't even fit along that road, but it does fit along this one, although it does destroy a bunch of tiny houses, which, eh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine with me. All right, there we go. A bunch of tiny houses are gone, and now we have a school. So hopefully some of these guys are going to be happy. There we go. We have the leveling up. We need water back over here. Did we not actually add water here? Ooh, my bad, my bad. We got this. We got this covered, you guys, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it all the way back here, and now we have everything connected. Good. And I'm going to connect this down through right over here. There we go. So now these guys are good. Although these guys, maybe not so much, but that's okay. That's a problem for them, not me. <laughs> All right. So we have money. We need more industrial, it seems. Oh, my gosh. We need more fire. That's what it is. We definitely need more fire. Well, let's see. Which farm am I going to destroy just for another... Hmm, you are 60,000 bucks. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So I'm going to just destroy this farm here just so that we can add that guy there and maybe he can help take care of these massive burning issues that we just had in here. Oh my gosh, look at this poor land. It's like all dead. Everything here is dead. These poor pigs are breathing in all this smoke. Oh my gosh, I feel so terrible. But yes, please, everybody, <laughs> even spread over here. I don't know if we can actually take care of that. If we can, that's going to be a miracle. But overall, it seems like that's going to be a problem, especially since uh, that might spread right back to the building. So maybe it was because there's something right out of bounds that maybe went on fire as well and it's going to spread. No, never mind. Actually, went out. Thank goodness. And these guys, whew. All right. So 
better take care of our fire because clearly that was a problem. But yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be building more industrial, mostly in here. We can build it out through here. As you can see, there is this brighter green land where we can build some more agriculture. And in here as well, we can continue our agricultural building there as well. I think I'm going to have to switch out some of this over here for uh, commercial just because people are getting way too sick and that is not good. There's way too much noise pollution coming out from these farms and I mean the houses aren't really getting that much but for them it's just like the end of the world so we can't have that happening because otherwise they're gonna be sick all the time and we don't need that kind of complaints and that much citizen happiness because that's just never good but we'll add all this uh, industrial area and more in the next episode because that is it for this episode of City Skylines Green Cities if you enjoyed Hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.